Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I have an all drugstore, all matte makeup tutorial. I don't know why, I just felt like I wanted to do an all matte look and I said, what the heck, I think it'd be a great idea to do it using just drugstore products. So I am gonna be applying a full face of makeup, meaning foundation, concealer, and even baking. You're gonna see one of my favorite baking powders from the drugstore. So if you wanna see the way I got this look, then just keep watching. So to start off this tutorial, I'm going to use the only drugstore primer that I have, which is the Revlon Photo Ready, and I actually haven't used it in that long. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm hoping that I still like it. I remember using it and it was okay. So to have a matte foundation or a matte base, I'm going to use the Infallible Pro Matte by L'Oreal. And I have it in the color Shell Beige. And I'm gonna apply it all over with my Real Technique sponge. And I think it looks a bit light, but I can make it look better once I apply the bronzer. I think that looks nice and matte, exactly what I was going for. So for concealer, I'm gonna use the Superstay by Better Skin. And I'm kind of running out of this concealer a little bit. But I'm gonna apply it on my under eyes, you see? It doesn't have that much product anymore. It kinda hurts me right here to do the opposite side of my face. I did a little bit of weights for my shoulders and my biceps and my triceps and all of that since um, I'm starting to work out again, but it's my first week, so I'm sore. Okay, so now I'm gonna bake and I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Loose Powder. This one is in the color Translucent Fair and it makes a big, big mess. This is the way that it looks. And with the same Real Techniques um, sponge, I'm just gonna apply that and do the baking method. Oh, my shirt is gonna get covered in powder for sure because it always does but now you're gonna notice it because my shirt is black so next I'm gonna do the eyebrows and I'm gonna use this pencil by Mabel by Milani that I haven't used in a while it's called the easy brow and I have it in the color I don't know natural taupe and I'm gonna do the same thing that I do with my other pencil so I'm gonna outline my eyebrows hopefully it's my shade like it goes well and then I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with a powder Can you see how thick it is? You see how thick it is? It just, it's not very precise. But I am gonna fill them in with a darker powder, which is gonna be this one by NYC. And I use this one with my other brow pencil. And I'm just gonna take an angled brush and fill them, and fill them in. I think the eyebrows look fine, even though that pencil isn't very precise. If you have a favorite drugstore eyebrow pencil, or even the gel liner, let me know in the comment section because I need it to get something else. So now for primer, I don't have an exact drugstore primer, but you can find this one by Mimi Box. I shared it with you guys in another video. This one is, you can find it at forever21.com. It's the only thing that I had. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this all over the eyelid and then just blend it out with my finger. So I am going to use Pretty much all the matte shades that are in this palette that I haven't used in a while either. This one's the Nudes by Maybelline and it has a few pretty shades in there. But I haven't used it in a little while. So I'm gonna take the lightest brown and use that one in the crease area. Well, I'm gonna use it in the crease and I'm gonna blend it towards the top. So this one's gonna be my transition shade. So next I'm going to use the light beige. I'm 
Okay, so now I'm gonna take my fluffy brush again and just blend those two together. Okay, so now for the crease, I'm gonna use a dark brown and I'm gonna take my e.l.f. fluffy brush. This one's called Blending Eye Brush. Now that I've been decluttering, I see that there are a lot of things that just because I don't use, I still like. I just have them stored pretty much like in a drawer, so I kind of forget about them. I really haven't used this palette enough, so I kind of want to give it a chance before saying, okay, I need to get rid of it in my decluttering palettes. So just know that that video is also going to be part of my decluttering series because there are some palettes that I do not use. Okay, so I'm going to use the dark, dark brown that's in here in the corner. I was thinking about using the black one, but I think I'm going to stick to the dark brown and apply that on the lid area, like kind of like on the outer corner or the outer V. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it up all the way to the crease. Okay, you really need to get into that shade to get some pigment out of it. So if you have this palette or if you're interested in this palette, just know that sometimes you have to go over the colors a few times before you get the actual color. And I'm just going to leave that on the outside. So I'm going to take my crease brush and then just blend that in with the rest of the colors. And I'm going to use the beige shade again and apply that on the brow bone. I'm going to take the fluffy brush to blend those two out or blend everything out pretty much. The beige shade and the dark brown that's right under it. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes, apply mascara and my falsies. I'm not going to apply any eyeliner. I don't know, lately I've been liking the no eyeliner and no waterline, like no black eyeliner on the waterline. I have used the nude shade on my waterline, but I don't know, I'm kind of liking it without it right now. It's just a phase. So I didn't want to have to use eyeliner, but okay. You know how I told you guys that I was trying the dark tone for the eyelash glue because the white one once it dries it looks like a little bit shiny and if you leave it on the wrong spot it just looks spotty or it just looks shiny you know but now with the black one it's not forgiving if i have light eyeshadow and i get it on that it's like i can't take it off i would have to redo my whole eye look so you see this little area right there i'm gonna have to probably put eyeliner to cover that up but once i open my eye you can't see it so we might just just go with that. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove the powder. Look, I like the way this powder looks. It just makes me look bright, but flawless. I don't know, I really like it. I have been using this one and the Airspun one, but I think I like the way this one looks a little bit better. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply eyeshadow on the lower eyelashes and I'm gonna use the dark brown using a small brush. Now I think I'm gonna use this one right here. Can you see that? Yeah. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this one up here. See if I can cover up the glue. Ugh, kind of. And I'm gonna apply mascara on my lower eyelashes using the Falsies Push Up Drama by Maybelline. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the top lashes. I just don't wanna really get it on the Falsies. Now I'm gonna use this e.l.f. pressed powder and it's a powder, it's not a bronzer, but I'm gonna use it as bronzer because it's a pretty color. Like I really like it. it reminds me a little bit of the Hoola bronzer by Benefit. It's pretty much the same shade, if I can get it open. And I'm just gonna apply it using this brush right here. It's kind of fluffy. And for blush, I'm gonna use this one, this matte one. It's called Nude, it's by Makeup Revolution. And I'm gonna apply it with a fluffy brush.
whatever was left from the bronzer I'm just gonna play it on the sides of my nose it won't make that much of a difference but my nose looks really really white so now for highlight that's the only thing that's not gonna be matte I'm gonna use this elf little what is this called I don't know what it's called but I know it's in the color golden and I'm gonna use this color right here on the corner for my highlight and find my brushes so I'm just gonna use this one right here I've already mixed these colors up but I'm just gonna use that and apply it up here I'm gonna apply it up here too and on my cupid's bow what's going on and it's a little powdery but it so it gives me the glow, right? And it's a bronzer, it's called Golden Bronzer. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, probably, let's see what brush. I'm gonna use this stipple brush by Real Techniques to blend out my blush right here. And the lipstick is gonna be one of my favorites that I use all the time. It's this one by Maybelline and it is called Clay Crush. It's a matte lipstick, it looks just like this. It's so pretty. And it's not super long lasting and it does transfer but I still love the color, it's just a very pretty color. So this is the complete look. I ended up not having to apply any eyeliner, which I didn't want to because, I don't know, I've been feeling the non-eyeliner look, so I just kind of covered up a little bit with the uh, eyeshadow, with the dark eyeshadow. So I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if there is anything, another tutorial in particular that you would like to see. And that's it for today's video. I will see you all in my next one. Bye.